Hello and welcome to all you Cancerians. No, this is not the monthly horoscopes. I have the monthly horoscopes already for August uh, on my YouTube channel, but this is specifically about the Mars-Saturn square that is going on. Mars-Saturn, Mars-Pluto square, Mars-Jupiter square, Mars retrograde. It's a handful, it's a mouthful. Let's put it that way. But it's actually very simple and clear. That is why I want to make this video. And what does it mean for you in particular? If you have a rising sign of cancer, if you have your sun in cancer, your moon, or maybe other planets or stelliums in cancer. Now, this is a big thing for you. You are a cardinal sign. The, all the cardinal signs, which is Aries, Cancer, um, Capricorn and Libra, they're going to feel it the most. So you are one of those signs that is definitely going to feel this a lot, this energy. It's very simple energy to explain. And it is what it is. You know, it's a weather forecast. It's not bad energy, good energy. But I'm going to explain to you, in my humble opinion, uh, what is the best action to your attitude towards all this and what is going to help you to go through those uh, energies and getting the best out of this. Because for you, this Mars in Aries is in your 10th house of career. It's in your 10th house of work and of career. Now, of course, maybe you are saying, Fiedler, I'm 75, I don't have a career. Then it's about your social status, how you want to be seen by others. With Mars there, as from now already as I speak, so this energy, this starts already now at the end of July and keeps on going at the end of the year. So this is not what I'm telling, it's not going to last forever. It's up until the end of the year, right? And what's going to happen? Well, Mars is in its own sign of Aries. Mars is about actions. Aries is about new stuff, new beginnings, freshness. I want to go forward. It has a lot of fire and that is happening now already, the end of July in your 10th house of work. So you will be feeling this uh, when it's not work. Again, it's your social status. It's you wanting to mean something in society. Um, so that's that. There is a, an opportunity there because Mars, first of all, is going to square to Jupiter. And that is expansion, that is positivity, that is seeing things in a broad perspective. That's the beginning of August. So the first week of August, you, you, you're going to feel that uh, you're quite energized. And, um, uh, and this Jupiter is in this seventh house, which is your business partners or, um, or your spouse when you're married or your girlfriend or your boyfriend. So, so you're going to have the support of them very much indeed. So this is all, wow, um, very uh, buoyant energy. But, but, then immediately around the midst of August, so the midst of August, up until the first week of October, that's a quite, quite a couple of weeks, right? Midst of, uh, of August and the first week of October, you're going to have the opposite energy, which is Pluto. It's Mars is going to bump into Pluto and Saturn. That's the opposite. That's slowing down restrictions, regulations, criticism and whatnot. It's all about slowing down fear, control and whatnot. And specifically in September, on the 10th of September, Mars goes back retrograde. So this pocket of time, is frustrating energy, right? Because you want to go forwards, Mars and that seventh house of yours, which could be, as I said, business partner. So maybe a business partner is saying, whoa, 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 whoa. This is not the best plan and it's criticizing you. Or a boss, you know, you could say like, maybe your business partner is, is also part of the, of the enterprise that you both have. And they're saying, ah, this is uh, not going anywhere, you know, because of this and this, it's costing you way too much money and whatnot, all these kind of slowing down energies or, or your, your relationship is slowing you down so that there's something happening maybe in their life that is slowing them down and it has an effect on you. Or they simply are saying you're working too much, you know, um, and uh, but what to do in this position? Worst case scenario to do is to say every time is to pity yourself. So that's not what I recommend to do. Pity yourself. Maybe when, when you are that character or maybe you're still a young person, for instance, they could fall into huh, every time I try to start something at work. 
uh, my business partner is saying no and I stop, I quit. That's not what I recommend. Or freezing and doing nothing. That's not what I recommend. This energy means actually good results by persevering, having patience. And it's not having patience for years and years. It's having patience up until the end of the year, right? And in this particular, um, in particular, up until the first week of October. So my advice is when a spouse, when a girlfriend, a boyfriend, a business partner is giving you a hard time, listen to what they are saying that because they might have a point. It's Saturn in its own side. They have a point. Instead of, you know, doing in an immature way saying, blah, blah, I'm out of here. That's the easy way out. Just think about this. Um, and use your energy, because this is going to frustrate you, of course, use your energy to take it slow. So when you are going to take this energy, this frustrating energy in, okay, when someone says um, you have to do this and this rule, when the, you got to do it. You got to do it. Grab your patience together and do it. And you're going to get a, a centimeter ahead again. Because with this energy, every time, everything takes three times longer but the result will be three times better as well you see what i mean and have that in mind as some strategic so to speak that at the end of the year you will get your rewards right it's not about being a doormat it's not about someone else pushing your buttons and 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 you just being the doormat no it's about using your mastering your energy it's about um doing it step by step, doing it slow. Don't rush into things when it comes to your work. It's not going to work. Do things slowly. I explain it in every video, uh, the, the example of the surgeon. A lot of people who are surgeons have this aspect innately in their chart, Mars with Pluto or Mars with Saturn, even in the hard aspects, squares and oppositions. And what they learn um, is mastering their actions and that is by having patience and you cannot do surgery on someone uh, if you're just neglecting all the oh there is a vein there and there's artery there and uh, no you have to do it step by step you have to be patient first doing this and then doing that so that's how I want you to see it and to take it on because you are gonna get successful then you're going to have the rewards you know like the surgeon he has done its work and the patient is fine and, and off you go. So that's the same thing. It's not because things go slow. It's like building character. It's like um, uh, good quality that you want to deliver. And that's why this energy is there. So it's, it's listening to the cosmos, listen to the universe and embrace it rather than fighting against it and saying, I don't care about those rules or I don't care about the opinions of others. You will have to take care of other people's opinions for sure, you Cancerians. And for those of you who have a character of, um, if you already in your character, in your temperament, have a perseverance and you want to work hard to receive something, this is going to be not difficult for you at all. But if you have a character of rushing into things and, and not being patient enough, or maybe you're a very young person and you're not used to work hard for something to accomplish, then this is not going to be the easiest um, transit that is going on. But I, I, I think it's very, very exciting for the Cancerians um, when they want to improve their career, when they want to improve their social status, um, and not being afraid of, you know, not let yourself getting depressed because all the things that seem that you're doing seem not to work out. It is working out, but it need, needs the fine tuning. Having said that, I wish you all the best, dear Cancerians. You can, you can do it. Have the patience, have the patience, do the mastery of your actions and you will become uh, a master of something, you know, when it comes to your work. Thanks very much for watching and see you next time. Bye-bye.